thousands of British and American oil workers and their families live and work in Saudi Arabia. Many of them live in closed-off communities. But as CNN's Christian Manpour found out, many of them prefer life in Saudi Arabia. Is that the right saddle? On weekends, the Owen family likes to go horseback riding in the desert. Tom Owen is a second-generation American raised in Saudi Arabia. Now he's raising his own children here. The major trade-off is, is being so far away from your family. Of course, in our family, we've taken care of that one. We've brought them all over here. Saudi Aramco is the world's biggest oil company. Aramcons, as they call themselves, live in a company compound, similar to any U.S. military compound overseas, with their own leisure activities, medical services, and commissaries. Other nationals, including Saudis, live here too. The events of 9-11 have, have put a tension there that I don't think they feel good about, we don't feel good about, and it's, it's just very sad. But things are getting back to normal. Altogether, some 40,000 Americans live and work across Saudi Arabia. Americans are on high alert. There are frequent warnings telling them not to look conspicuous in public, not to leave their cars unattended, to check under the hoods. But apart from one incident last year in which one American was killed, U.S. officials here say there has been no violence specifically targeted at the American community. Indeed, many say they feel safer here than on the mean streets of urban America. It's a, it's a safe place. I, uh, it gives me a good environment for my family. Uh, they're safe here. Uh, we have a good school system. Uh, as a family man, this is the place for me to be. Well-paid jobs brought them here, but they say the lifestyle keeps them here. There's a sense of community that's missing in the States as well. You know, your, your neighbors become your aunts and uncles and grandmothers and grandfathers. And so it's hard to find that. That's why it's so hard to leave here. Inside the compound, women are not restricted. I'm able to drive on the camp. I'm able to jog, go to the beach, go to the pool. But once I'm off camp, I, I um, respect the, the customs here. The Americans we talk to say they regret what they call a post-September 11th campaign against Saudi Arabia by some in the U.S. government and the media. Most of the people in the United States don't know anything about Saudi Arabia. They don't know anything about the people. Um, and the people here are not, I mean, they're not terrorists. They're not, you know, fundamentalists for the most part. Michelle's husband, Shihab, is Saudi. You know, we don't have a democracy. So we don't really have a say in what happens and in a way we perceive that about americans it's george bush that's causing trouble you know we're not thinking she's at fault or anything like that so there's not a lot of animosity between americans and saudis in fact many say they learn a lot living in this multicultural environment they say they are more sensitive to how their government's policies affect the people of this region and after an alliance that has lasted seventy years Americans say they still have most favored expat status. Christiana Manpour, CNN, Dharan, Saudi Arabia.